So I'm just going to do a basic demonstration of a basic neck massage on Dolly. Dolly's new here, she came about two days ago. Um, and if you can see by um, the way Dolly is built and where she's developed muscle and not developed, she's obviously gone around with quite a high head carriage and uh, she's got the brachiospallicus is quite well developed and the splenius is underdeveloped and she's obviously very weak along the top line cervical trapezius there and thoracic trapezius so in an ideal world we're going to build up this top line by getting her to work over her back and alleviate some stress and tension through here okay so i'm just going to start by doing some basic effleurage with the palm of my hands and my fingers just flat and relaxed on the neck and I'm just working with the hair, following the length of the muscles, just to start to warm it up and allow her to feel my touch. So we start everything with effleurage. And then once we've done that, I'm gonna start along the rhomboids, deep through here, along the top line, I'm just going to start with some gentle muscle squeezing. So I'm going to gently press my fingers into the other side and squeeze the palms of my fingers together. Squeeze and release, and then move up. Squeeze and release, moving up from the withers towards the pulp. They might get a little bit nervous, so you might have to take pressure off at the pole and then you can move back down. We're just trying to bring some blood and oxygen, nutrients to this area to start to stimulate this muscle and get things working again. So you could do gentle muscle squeezing two or three passes and then we'll go with ringing. So I'm going to push with my left hand and pull with the right hand. Again, you've got your rhomboids deep through here. So we're going to push and pull along the crest of the neck just to alleviate some of this tension and put some stretch in the tissues. So I'm not going as firm or as deep as I would perhaps on another horse that's used to body work. She's fairly tight. So we're going to introduce this body work as we go along. And then another option along here, along through the rhomboids, you can do some jostling. So you should be able to see as I'm jostling, you can see the brachiospallicus and the sternomandibula starting to loosen off. And she started to lick and chew and relax. And slightly lower her head. It's a big thing for her to drop her head just some gentle jostling from the withers to the pole. Good girl. And again I'm going slightly gentle at the pole. And she's starting to relax her head carriage. And it's just loosening all the way through the neck. Good girl. And then I'm just going to effleurage that and then move down to the brachiocephalicus. So the brachiocephalicus is quite overdeveloped through here on her, the way she's held her head and neck. So it's quite complex, the origin and insertion from the brachiocephalicus, but basically it originates around the pole, the nuchal crest and the wing of the atlas. And it actually inserts at the transverse processes of two, three and four of the cervical vertebra. And then it runs down and actually inserts onto the humerus, onto the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. So in, in, in a nutshell, it runs from the pole to the humerus. So as you can imagine, this muscle, the function is to bring this forelimb forward. And also when it contracts, it can bring the head and neck round. So for this muscle, Again, it's very overdeveloped through here. 
So I'm just going to start and slot my fingers into the groove between the sternomandibular and the brachiocephalicus. I'm going to take a gentle squeeze and push up towards the pulg. I'm going to let my thumb lead and I'm just going to gently squeeze and push up through the brachiocephalicus and let my thumb naturally trace all the way up to the pole. Again, she's a new horse, so it's only her second, third night in these stables. And I'm new to her, and I have no idea if she's had any body work done before. I'm sure she has because she's 11, but everything I do is introductory for her to get used to me and the techniques. And I'm starting to increase my pressure now, so I'm taking more of a squeeze. Right, up through the brachiocephalicus, up to the origin. Good. And then I'm going to turn and put the palm of my hand into this groove and let my fingers go over the muscle and I'm going to take hold of the muscle and I'm going to jostle. I'm going to take the muscle and jostle. Hopefully as she gets more used to this and accepting, it's going to become looser and she'll relax into it. And then the sternomandibular, I'm going to move through and just do a gentle jostle, and then move down, jostle, down, down, and down. You can also take the sternomandibular and gently squeeze and release, move down, squeeze and release. Move down, squeeze, release, move down, squeeze, release, and move down. Obviously, that's a very gentle movement because of what's going on through there. And then just to finish, again, this is a very basic neck massage just to get her into this. We're going to, if you have a look through the main upper neck muscle, the splenius, this is very weak, but the fascia, the connective tissue, it all feels very tight and very rigid. So I'm just going to take the pads of my three fingers, not the tips because they're too severe. The pads of my three fingers and I'm just going to gently start to cross fibre friction all the way up through the splenius. She's nodding her head and her ears are soft. So gentle cross fibre friction. Again, working up to the pole, up to the rectus capitus muscles. And then gently cross fibre friction back down again. Again, she's got the nose waggle side to side, so she's happy. And then when I finish the cross fibre friction through here, I'm just going to go into the skin rolling. So I'm going to take the tissue Take the connective tissue there and just roll it all the way up through the neck just to loosen off through this fascia so this might feel a little bit strange to her. Good girl. And you can start to feel where there's any restrictions or any tight dehydrated areas and just to wear it comfortably. Girls. Farage it out. And then to finish, I finish through the rectus capitus muscles, through the pole. Um, I like to do this at the end of the neck massage so that she's, um, if she's gonna be head shy or nervous, she's obviously learned to trust me. And you can see that her posture slightly changed as I've worked, her head's lowered, head and neck's lowered and she's relaxed into it. So to finish, I'm just going to get the pads of my three fingers at the pole and notice that she's not tied up so she can get away at any time. 
she's not going to bang her head or panic and I'm just going to take the pads of my three fingers and draw down nice and firmly through the pole through the rectus capitis muscles nice and slow and go back again nice and firm if you watch her eyes shutting and her eyes getting heavier just to release any tension 